Now, Robert Aguirre and Gina Alexander will present our packed credentials. Hello. We are PAC, people acting in community together. PAC is a multiracial, multi faith, grassroots organization that empowers everyday people to create more just community. Through PAC, people from different cultural, religious, and socioeconomic backgrounds learn to work together to solve the most pervasive social problems in our community and country. PACT helps ordinary people win extraordinary victories, not by speaking for them, but by teaching them how to speak up, take action, and engage in the public arena for themselves. PACT's volunteer grassroots faith and leaders work in partnership with public officials to improve the health, education, housing, safety, and well-being of people in Santa Clara County. PACT is a multi-issue nonpartisan group. PAC creates results. For example, PAC protects our community. We initiated and secured city and county policies that local law enforcement does not cooperate with federal immigration enforcement in 2007 and 2012 and again this year. PAC wins legislation. With our PICO California network, we led the statewide organization for Senate Bill 54, the California Values Act to protect immigrants. Despite significant opposition, it was signed into law in 2017. Now Trump and Sessions are attacking it. But we are standing strong and counting on our local and state officials to stand strong with us and our immigrant neighbors. And PAC moves voters. In the 2016 election, we registered over 2,500 new and infrequent voters and engaged thousands more to play an important role in winning affordable housing, educational funding, and rehabilitation in the criminal justice system. In the fall of 2017, PAC did neighborhood canvassing and 80% of nearly 1,500 voters we spoke to supported expanded police accountability and transparency. PACT has over 25 member congregations and partner schools, representing more than 50,000 people. We are part of PICO California Network and a nationwide Faith in Action Network, which includes 50 organizations in 19 states. Over three years ago, since Martin Luther King's birthday in 2015, PAC's beloved community team began a journey together in response to major national issues highlighted by the deaths of Eric Garner, Laquan McDonald, Tamir Rice, and Michael Brown. Issues of race, power, and accountability led us to ask, how can we move beyond our current reality to a place of greater trust and love? That place is a beloved community. With concerns in the community and concerns by police officers, PACT faith leaders, and the NAACP. We organize a community dialogue to promote open and honest communication to create change together. And it was in this spirit that we identified four major areas to focus on. One, transparency and reporting. Two, implicit bias training and procedural justice training. Three, use of force. And four, body-worn cameras. And since then, we have held seven beloved community dialogues with 200 to 300 people attending each time, all comprised of diverse members of the community, faith leaders, law enforcement officials, and other public officials. While addressing issues of law enforcement and community broadly, we have been focused on SJPD and have made some great progress working with Chief Eddie Garcia, the San Jose Independent Police Auditor's Office, the mayor, city council members, and also with the San Jose Police Officers Association.